that's me. Washington, D.C. Oh my god, it... Sorry. <laughs> Ew, those are like the bubble gums. I hate those. They're like really hard. You guys have those? What'd you say? Your jaw just hurts looking at it, sir. They're so bad, too. They're dry. My vortex, much like this, coming by. Okay, who spiked the gum, right? He's gonna take off his helmet? <laughs> I like how his scream carried out in real life, you know? Simon, Nelson Tether's crossword puzzle had been ripped to bits, but is there something written on it? We contract it to find out. Now, let me solve this real quick. Holy macaroni. Okay. There you go. Um, don't forget, guys. I got a new emote so you can be impressed when I complete something. So, yeah, the phone, feel free to use it once I figure out this puzzle. This is totally it. Okay, dude. Fuck you. Blast yeah, there you go. Thank you, Blaster. Blaster? Blaster. I don't know why. There you go. This. Like that. Boom. 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 Scoggins. Taxpayer dollars spent. <laughs> $75,000. That's so funny, dude. Uh. Cracked crossword. Hints you zero. Wrong answer zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars. How? I'm a genius. That's really that simple. I'm gonna have to change my audio settings. Puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just it's been. No yes, way. quite some time. Uh huh. I like his voice. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. The White House. I'll be on the next plane to. Wait, where? Scoggins? <laughs> Wisconsin? <laughs> Dude, if it's Wisconsin, I'm like. I'm crazy. Come on, where's Scoggins? I like this game so far. I like the art style and stuff. I love to animate a game like this. It seems really simple, you know? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Minnesota, god damn it, dude. Population 754. Temperature. Mm, it's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ in si thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. <laughs> what Hopefully the fuck? this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> 
Agent Tethers out. I like this voice actor. I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Talking to Greek man. If you enjoyed the content provided to you, can I not pause? Also happen to have Twitch Prime. Can I not pause? Feel free to sub Birdie, another the channel. 27 months. <laughs> this one's God damn. Fucking love this guy. Fucking love this guy, dude. I hope you're doing good. Thank you for the long time support, friend. Be a bearded voice actor. Thank you. I was just thinking that. I am kidding. I really like his, this guy's voice. I don't think I could. How to pause? How do I pause? I want to change the volume. All right, we're we're going to talk to the creepy man. Excuse me, I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. <laughs> Hello. I, well, yeah, I tried to escape. Okay, like. and you are Bjorn. 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 Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yeah. Let's discuss, let's discuss about the hotel. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection okay on the way to the hotel you're going to pass two traffic lights okay nelson snowmobile sliding along the road arrange the logs to help nelson bump his way to the hotel <laughs> what so there's two traffic lights he said puzzle rules drag logs from the menu onto the same grid a log can be dragged to any free space Nelson snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank off to the left depending on the log's orientation. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Press submit when you think it's okay. Fart. What? How are you doing, BO's game? Very space? Oh, wait, I can, I can, I can, I can, uh. Not working. So I'm gonna go boom, and I'm gonna go. What? So wait, if I. So if I go like this, I would go like this, but if I put this like here, first, let's say, will I go up? Can I like... Wait, I have to submit it? I can't even check how it works? Wowee. Maybe like this? That's what it... That's what it seemed... Right? Oh. It's fucking easy, dude. Is it gonna get harder? Taxpayer dollars? $75,000, baby. Fart also, thank you. Thanks for the 14 months, Fart. Oh God, I'm so good. Can we get some flashy shook in chat? Thanks, guys. Oh, it just pauses it. Maybe I need to be out of a cutscene. Oh no. Um, uh, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh, I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks yeah, nice. Welcome. Funny guy. Funny guy. I mean, does it go on? Oh, let's talk about the factory. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. Cool. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Thank you, Bjorn. Talk about suspicious people real quick. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yeah. He's gonna really? describe me. Can you describe them? <laughs> Skinny asks lots of questions. There's a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, his eyes. Animators, come on. Okay, can I... No, I can't actually do anything while paused. I, I kind of want to go change my audio settings, but... Investigate the fence. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I 
Don't know why I'm reporting this. Just we'll, we'll see. Yeah, that's, that's why it's not bad. Let's try to escape after reaching the end. Maybe it'll save. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, that's my, uh... My shadow play. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> oh, she looks so sweet. How do I know if it's save? Game save. There you go. Perfect. What that? Main menu. Dude, easy. There you go. Thank you. So I want more... Less sound. More music. And more voice. There you go. I felt like it was a bit, like... I don't know. On balance. Oh, let's talk to the sweet lady. Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. What a sweet lady. So that's for the room so, key. Uh, what? Yeah, okay. Oh. I've got your room right here. Oh, dear. This is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I have a look? Oh, I man. I wonder if I can get through past this in. one. Security minded clerk, night clerk, no notated Nelson's room number in cryptic form. Help Martha see what's written so you can get your keys. Oh man, good thing we're an FBI agent that specializes in puzzles. Let's go. <laughs> huh. Is this it? get harder, right? It has to get harder. I, I... <laughs> How is this possible? N what? This is crazy. Holy shit. Can we get some flashies shook and chat? This is insane. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now oh, I goodness. see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI This man. must get... This, and they must be joking with us for a bit, right? Thanks. Actually, do you mind oh, if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I don't know anything about the puzzle patron. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. What? Raccoons? Yeah, that would, that's little a bit creatures defense. that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Talk about the getting around. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Yeah, that's kind of oh dumb. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, <laughs> of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of it's our fun. little town of Scoggins right here. Thank you. You know, our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. That's really funny. So let me just, uh... Hey, enjoy your... Oh, do you oh. have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. Wait, we this is fishy. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. 
Pick up the ABC gum. Oh. We're not going to fucking eat gum. That's like. Nelson Tethers thinks best when he's chewing gum. Any kind of gum. Find discarded gum and use it to get a hint during a sticky puzzle. Ew! <laughs> uh. Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. <laughs> Boa swallowed a rubber band again. His x-rays show only tapeworms. Or does it? Rotate segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think this was right. Like this. This looks right. What the fuck am I... Okay, maybe this is what... Oh, yeah, maybe this was right. Like that. Then... There's no other ways for this to go. Maybe this is wrong then. There you go. And like this. No. Like that. No. I... I hate this. This is awful. Ew. This is quite... Harder than the other puzzles. Wait, the heads. <laughs> what? Is this it? No, but this guy is just like a tiny guy. These guys are tiny guys too. Is that normal? Does this look right? Oh, yeah. there's, one that's there's one that's double headed? Oh, this one's double-headed. <laughs> uh, so this, like this? But then this looks wrong. But this is... Does hey Benji has it going? Maybe we can get a hint. The rubber band will form a continuous loop, but it may be twisted over itself once or twice, and it may overlap with tapeworms. I'll just submit it. I don't want to fuck it. Way harder than the other puzzles. Fuck! <laughs> A continuous loop, okay. I don't know what it's saying. Okay, so no, that's not it. What well, like this? Then maybe like that. Oh, I can see it. Look. <laughs> I think this is it. We got it. Wait. I can see the rubber band. I'm, I'm sending it in. 151,000. Oh, because we did it twice. Boom. Fuck. I'm costing so much money to the... Ah, shit. Like this? No, but look, it doesn't line up. Oh my god, I have to wait for this. You think so? If this costs more money to the government, we're gonna have like people on Twitter talking shit. I swear to god. 
We did it. Only two wrong answers. That's three stars? How, you ask? The rubber band makes a complete closed circle. I don't know what the fuck. Solved. Now maybe you can relax a little. My dear whispers. It's an acrostical enigma. Maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. What? The whispers? Or not? All right, let's ask about this guy. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Nice talking to you. Let's uh, go to our hotel room. That's the back alley. Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. Oh, another puzzle. <laughs> the Annabelle Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over, and the judge missed it. Read the four statement and help him determine the winner. Oh my god, it's like a, it's like a fucking Facebook meme. And, and then all the boomers in the comments are conf confidently incorrect. I pin Pearl like a new hat. I'm matched by the Grizzly Grip. Who the fuck is a Grizzly Grip? Flo's Grizzly Grip couldn't whip me. Pat won fair and square. Fuck, man. This is hard. Um. There's what? Top corner, what? It just says what? Oh, what? <laughs> What? Oh, okay, as, as if I skip the puzzle back soon. Oh. Okay, I have to choose the winner. So, outmatched by the Grizzly Grip, okay? Whoever the Grizzly Grip is, they lost, so she didn't win. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. Who the fuck's Pearl? Flo's Grizzly Grip can with me. me. So, this person... So these two won, and these two lost something. Well, it's about which one's which. So they're just making. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is hard. Mm, who knows? She's doing this so. If, if, I, I, if I was flexing at the same, I wasn't. Yeah, so I'm saying Pat won fair and square means that she did not win. Outmatched by the Grizzly Grip, she didn't win either. So that's what I was saying. So it's either the black haired one or the red haired one. So Flo's Grizzly Grip couldn't whip me. And you have to know which one's Flo. Who's the Grizzly Grip? So. That would determine, like, who's, like... What, do you you have it? What? Is it about the hat thing? I'm assuming her? Pat? Flo. She'd be Flo. I'm assuming this one's Pat or some shit? Wow, this is something that she won, you think? This is Flo. Oh, then that means that sh she won. Because if she did the grizzly grip, then she couldn't get grizzly gripped. Therefore, she won. All right, therefore, in, from now on, don't help me anymore. This is my stream. If you want to play this game, stream yourself, okay? <laughs> 
Did we do it? Oh my god, good job. You're smarter than me. I was reading too much into it. <laughs> we get some flashy shook and chat. We're so smart here. That was a tricky one. We got a screwdriver. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. Oh, we can't pick it up? Someone looks Trash? No? That's it? Okay. Go back in. So what was the point of figuring out that puzzle about flow? Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Uh, oh, shit, okay. What? Uh... <laughs> Does negative show red as green? I I don't remember how that works. What am I choosing here? Oh, I'm choosing who's missing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I know white turns as black, but I don't know if the color inverts 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 like this. I mean, honestly, if that wasn't like if it wasn't a game, I'd be like, well, this one's missing because these are in a fucking formation of five like this. And this one's pointing left. But the thing is that this is reversed. The, the film is reversed. Film. So it it would it it it, 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 it would still be this guy. I think. I, I I feel like I'm I'm like overthinking it because of the path thing now. I'm just gonna. I'm scared. <laughs> to me, if you flip this. I think this, I think it's it. Am I stupid? I'm scared. Please tell me I'm right. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I don't want to cost more tax money to people. Pay more attention to it. Ugh. I'm very uh, much visualizer person. Like I need to see things, and just having to imagine this like reverse and stuff like that just won't do it for me. It's not working out. Wait a second. There's only three greens and two reds. And here there's three of each, which means it's... Are the colors inverted? That's what I want to know. Huh? You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was just. Never mind. Color should be inverted. Okay. So. Wait, what the fuck? He I'm, I'm getting pissed off. Because if there's two. Green on top, there should be two red on top if the colors are inverted, no? I, it... I 
your placement doesn't matter, then what? What? I don't need this right now, Caitlin. This one just doesn't doesn't vibe with me, you know. Give me a hint. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing my brain literally just can't visualize it i'm very visual you know what i mean like i need to just it, like if i was in person i'd be able to just flip this fucking negative around and be like okay you know like but i just i can't visualize it that's what that's the thing so i, I <laughs> my brain just won't do it it's really annoying because i know what you mean I know this guy's in this pose here, but I don't know. It's like, is this? So it'll be this guy. I'm locking it in, baby. <laughs> Fifty-one thousand dollars. Boom! Accepted. And let's go. <laughs> My goodness, that was that was not good. Right, let's get a hard well, <laughs> one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Holy why wouldn't that be something? <laughs> yeah, they're just warming us. Yeah, there's just th that type of puzzle specifically. Oof. I think we've talked. To Can we go to our hotel room? What is the point? What's the what do we have to do now? Oh, it keeps track of how much we're costing taxpayers. Nice. <laughs> uh oh. Why is this seventy-five thousand? Like, is not my is not not my yearly salary? The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Let's go, baby. Yeah, that lady's cute. I like her. What I don't like about this game so far is it tells me what to do all the time. I can't, I can't come just like investigate on my own. Like it tells me like go to the factory now. It's like okay, I guess I'll go to the factory. I guess it's just very linear. But I don't see the point of having a map, and like, I don't. It gives you the impression that you're gonna be able to do stuff on your own. Hey, Jinju, we're um. We're investigating something. We're a puzzle detective. Hi, Sheriff Bog. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? what the fuck? Oh, yeah. It's an eraser a big factory. explosion. And the foreman just never came home. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Maybe he oh, died. Maybe. Is there a... Uh, is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. 
Isaac Davner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. Why is the factory, like, blocked off? What did your investigation turn That's up? That's so weird. Not much. Erase the form of this figure out how to get past this lock. <laughs> well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. You're so smart. Oh, it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that oh, out Oh, give me another myself. fucking riddle, like, Here's what Sally went home at five, and this person went blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck. The rest easy guard service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight. And there's gonna be all statements from their ship. Dude, I'm tired of these newspaper puzzles, man. It's all newspaper puzzles. Send your you send your answer to our fucking newspaper office and you have the chance to win more newspapers. Boom, one hour before the last shift started. Only Bernie putting the full eight hours. When did it start? What am I doing? Oh. Oh, work from six, to, six till I was relieved. Iggy, Al, Pop, Bernie. So you put the full, Bernie pulled the foot, put the full eight hours. What for last shift? Three hours. And it's 12, but when did they start? I don't, you know, I hate this shit, honestly. <laughs> I hate these type of puzzles. I did not think it was going to be these th Oh, wait, what? Oh, I have to choose the time. type of shit we used to do like in school for fun i always hated them they're so stupid you think you solved it i i have not i don't I just didn't expect these type of puzzles. Where's Waldo? I never really enjoyed Where's Waldo. Because you'd look around the whole page and you find him like, oh, there, there he is. You know? He's hiding from that huge finger being like, there he is. <laughs> you know? Honestly, I have no fucking idea. Guys, feel free to chime in. I've I I really hate these. There's like no information. So we know one hour before the last shift started. What's the last shift? I don't know. He worked the full eight. When does he start? I don't know. Is it one person per I don't know if they overlap. But yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming not. We're gonna assume they don't overlap, right? So we're from six till I was relieved. So is this information like, do you start like, is this the first shift of the day? Like, is this, cause I'm assuming it'd be 6 p.m. if it's like a security thing, like at night, right? Or is it, is it not? Like, is it six in the morning? And then, till I was relieved, when was that, you know? Like, how many guards are on, on, on watch? Does that mean there's just one guard at a time? Pops in pretty important. I get the shortest shift. Three hours. I mean, I get that, but it... To me, that's not important at all. How is that important?
Do you have it, Caitlin? Do you have any idea? Okay. Oh. Because it implies that, like, they'd have to fill together to make a full eight hour shift type of thing? Is that what would imply, Gabriel? Well, no, that would be nine hours. The six until I was relieved. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. So there's just that, does that mean like, work from six till, till Pop takes over for three hours basically, maybe? So the, Iggy would work for five and Pop would work for three? I, if from six, then that would mean, That, I mean, they're, they're working on the same day, I'm assuming. And he does eight hours. How long is the full... I have no clue, Hus. I guess it'd have to be 12 hours, right? 12 hours in total. Wait, is he relieved that an accident happened? No. <laughs> I think he means he works his hours till he was like, oh, he can go home. You know? You know, the Bernie could just say when it fucking happened. I want that room number puzzle back, right? Like, if you get one hit, let's see. So it was started at 6. <laughs> what? 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? Oh, wait. He didn't work 6 hours. Right, that, that was the thing. Never mind. Because that was the problem. It was at 6 a.m. or p.m. Uh, to me, like, a security job is, like, at night, right? Because <laughs> people are working throughout the day. But I don't know if that's, like, even part of the puzzle. You know, I could be, like, saying that. And it's like, no, no one said that, you know? Bernie's got PTSD. He can't recall the exact time where he goes into shock. <laughs> he just fucking loses his mind. He has to say like, one hour before the last shift started. We got 12 tries. I can just put a... I mean, does the, the PM or AM really matter? Like, uh, the hint was... Oh, shit. Yeah. But did he start at 6 AM or PM? It doesn't matter, right? Does it matter? Because in the end, it's just, a, it's a time. <laughs> I mean, it matters if you're a detective, but in this puzzle, does it? I... Oh, this is really not for me. <laughs> I was expecting these type of, like, puzzles, like, I'll do this and that, then figure this thing out. Not, like, fucking do a newspaper puzzle, man. Fuck. Oh, okay, so, so if, if the things that you don't know if Iggy is the one that starts the day off, like your starts the shift off, but you'll have to assume he was relieved by Pop, right? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so I'm assuming if it, the only the longest shift is eight hours, then you do five, then you do three, right? What does the what say? To min from midnight to midnight yesterday. Oh, so it starts at midnight. But if he started at six, what the fuck? It starts at midnight. It starts at midnight, and he's got work from six. That's six hours later. So I'm assuming it's six in the morning. This guy gets three hours. So maybe then, what? Six has to be PM then, because someone had an eight hour shift. So you think your boy. Bernie had to be there if you heard it, no? 
Unless they just go on, like, they just stay there when they're not working. I don't know. This makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, why will your statement even fucking matter, Iggy? You know? So, someone started at 12. Someone started at midnight here. And even if it was Pop, let's say he did three hours. It d there's not another three hours until Iggy starts. And even if fucking Bernie started, it'd be eight in the morning. And only Bernie's the one that puts the full eight hours. So what does Al do? You know? Maybe he does a three hours too. But he gets the shorter shift, so that doesn't work either. Do you think Bernie's the last one? But the thing is that it's from midnight to midnight. So there's so much more between these. So it's a <laughs> if it's midnight to midnight. Wait. Oh. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. That's 24 hours. <laughs> What's the rest? Is it up to up to 24? I don't know. That's the thing. It makes no sense to me. They started thinking about it too hard. But this says midnight to midnight. And there are four. And this one does three hours. This one does eight with a full. Ah. I think Bob was the last shift change because he relieved Diggy. Why would you assume that? That's what I mean. I. Give me another hint. I don't. I really don't get it. More. Pop worked the last shift, ending at midnight. Why would we assume that? <laughs> Sorry, it pisses pissing me off, dude. Why? Why would he be the guy that ends at midnight? You know. Then if it's one hour before the last shift started, and he, he, he's he ends before midnight, there was format. Then that would be eight, right? One hour before the last shift started. It would go 9, 10, 11, wait, 10, 11, 12? No, we'd have to do the full 12, so 9, 10, 11. No, wait. No. <laughs> you start at 10, 10, 11. That's two hours. Wait. <laughs> so it would be at 8, right? Am I, am I stupid? That makes sense? But, so I just don't get why we would assume... that he's the last. I still don't get it. That's before midnight, which means it started at midnight the day before. And let's say this this fool, Bernie, did a full eight hour shift. That's, and then the three from this dude, it's not even noon yet. I, I. Oh yeah, you know. I really hate this shit. They're just making shit up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... And it doesn't seem like there's a reason why we would come to that conclusion. Well, good job, Kraken. I... Like, Iggy had to start at 6am because he was relieved by another guard. Who says- who makes these rules? Am I- am I groom crazy? Like, he had to start because he goes relieved by another guy. That, so he has to start at 6. There's no way in, in the life that you can start later and get relieved. You have to start at the first shift, guys. Like, it makes no sense. Sorry, alright. Whatever, whatever. I'll. If there was an explosion at that time, game, wouldn't dude. the icicles on the building? Have That's been what Telltale's not a fucking studio anymore. Is this shitty game? Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. His voice is really funny. Oh, 
Okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. Me get the moose here in a bit. I want to review that case hmm. again. Because I, I thought it was saying... Yeah, let me see. Work from 6 till I was relieved. From 6. We started at 6. But to me, like, the, the, the reasoning behind it, where they're like, he had to start at 6 a.m. He couldn't have been 6 p.m. because he gets relieved by someone else. Makes no sense. You can start at 6 p.m. and have someone relieve you after. You know what I mean? Like, it... oh my god, dude. Wait, am I, like, spending money just redoing the case? I hope not. Uh-oh. But how how we know Alzheimer? I don't know. That's the thing. He's like, this guy started at seven. Obviously, like he did seven hours. Obviously, um, it's just weird to me that they just they just make this shit up and don't explain it. How are you even supposed to know? Hmm. Out at the eraser factory, the doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged though. It seems to be missing a piece. Just spends millions opening an envelope, <laughs> right? We're going to moose deer, right? Moose deer. Oh man, I'm, I just heard moose deer, and I'm like, oh, I'm hungry now. He starts running. Excuse me, I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Answer me, mister. Something wrong with your sign? A puzzle. Let's go. Uh, Three I people said, say something, something about this sign. With... You a cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark, if you know what I mean. Not really. I don't, actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Uh, Not with please all the don't be a shitty whispers puzzle. Whispers in my head. What? <laughs> whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. The repairman has forgotten which fuse needs to use, even though he coded them so he wouldn't forget. It's like the fuse that completes a sequence. Okay, this so it doesn't seem as bad at first glance, but there seems to be no logic <laughs> behind the third option here. Uh. It's like a morph? Does it morph? M heart. Yeah, what kind of moron makes fuses like these, you know? What's the puzzle? We have to choose the third one. Uh, based on fucking nothing again. <laughs> I'm about to quit this game, it's just stupid. <laughs> it's, it's like these fucking Facebook ass puzzles, man. It's numbers? How is it numbers? Looks so mad, I just, I really hate this. Mirrored? It's numbers mirrored. What are you saying? What number is the first one to you? One. Then two. What? This is like three, basically? What will be this one, then? That's a two! Oh my god. Oh. 
Last last one just broke my brain. I just can't even think anymore. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, you gotta open my mind. I gotta, I gotta open my mind. I gotta, you know, be open-minded. That should do this. it. Hey, look. Well, I gotta finish getting sealed. Well. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm stupid. I need to chill. I need to relax. You know. I need to have fun. Oh, everyone's freaking me out, honestly. A meeting of the sheriff, right? Let's talk to, Excuse to her. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. Her voice is very Can familiar. Can I help you with that? Glory is distracted by the puzzle of, of food she's preparing to serve. A lot of the food items on the plate in such a way that none of the overlap to get her the detention. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? So, wait, what am I supposed to do? So, okay, they just can't overlap. Just have to make him all fit on the plate. Oh my god, they were like, oh, he's fucking losing his mind. Let's give him an easy puzzle. Okay, this might not be as easy as I thought. Oh, it like puts it together for you. There you go. A childish puzzle that I need. This looks like it fits to me. Come on. Oh, what have I done? Oh, the carrot fits there. Okay. See, they'll go through these, like, puzzles that I feel like are really, like, weird, and then they'll do, like, this. I mean, honestly, I could put these just randomly on the table and it won't fit, no? No, I guess not. It's got to be a specific thing. She can't do her own job. <laughs> I mean... Well, first of all, what's this arrangement of food? Second of all, why does it- can it overlap, you know? You know what I mean? Like... It's clam. Is it? I knew it was familiar. I thought for some reason it was Maxine from uh, Stranger Things. Uh, Life is Strange. Stranger Things. There you go. Delicious. Is it her? Thanks. So, yeah, that's uh, totally her. Oh my what's God. good here? I don't know. It's all fine. Oh, okay. What's your name? Lori Davner. Oh, uh -huh. so, Imagine you fish without a tail. I'm Nelson. With a tail or without Are you <laughs> feeling okay? Yes. No. I'm just thinking about my husband. What's wrong with your husband, ma'am? Is he okay? He will be. Well, I'm with the FBI's that's Department of terrifying. Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay. An accident at the eraser factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, well, she looks so just worried. that it was an accident like everyone says. That's fucking bullshit. The factory foreman, Isaac Davner. He was your husband? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, he's gonna There's be okay. Wait, she knows something. About him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. She oh. creeps me out, dude. Okay. She freaks me out. She gives me the eebie-jeebies, honestly. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your say. husband to get to you? Oh no, he wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I what wish people wouldn't thing. tease him for that, Daryl. Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah, people tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. 
I see that. Maybe I can help. <sighs> I just read the, read the worst comment of my life. When these three couples walked into the diner, Glory thought she knew what each would order. She was wrong, and now she's forgotten and gets what. Here's what she does recall. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, dude. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. What? <laughs> One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. It looks like the guy? <laughs> what the fuck are these puzzles, man? They look like food. Oh my god, I need to go back and... I wish I could have the... I'm gonna have the this screenshotted. Oh, I can't screenshot it. Can I uh, do this and then like open it and paint? I want to be able to see it while I, I don't have to go back and forth. There you go. I just uh, yeah. There you go. I got a I got a screenshot over here. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse, so they're together, they're together, and they're together. Okay, so these people didn't order fish nor. Whatever the fuck he's supposed to look like. Let's attribute things to what they look like. So she looks like fish. She looks like a pig. So ham. He looks like an onion. So onion rings. He looks like... She looks like a turkey. He looks like the banana slip. He looks like a burger, I guess. Somehow. So none of them ordered each other. How'd you find this game? Katie fucking suggested it. Stupid ass fucking Katie, dude. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. The fish eating man. Who eats fish? You seeing that he eats his wife? That's disgusting. The fish eating man. Wait. Maybe the. The fish eating man. What'd you say? Your game's glitch? Fish eating man. Oh. Yeah, so we have to figure out who eats fish. Only one patron resembles his or his meal. And then the ham plate should be set down next to the banana split. That is not a lot of information. Well, so we have to find out who... Who, uh... I'll give you the, the red light, the green light whenever I need, like, you guys a backseat with me. One lady ordered a meal. So, one of the men ordered the fish, and he can't. This guy can't have the fish because it resembles his wife. So either one of these guys is gonna have the fish. Okay. So, so it would be something like this, like because. If he has the fish, the lady would have to resemble. So the lady would remember resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. So it would have to be resembling them. So either like this or like. So it's either this or this. But the thing we have to know is that the ham has to be next to the banana split. And if the ham is next to the banana split. Then it can't be. Um, fuck! Wait, what is it? I'm getting. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So. So one of them has to resemble its own, their own meal. So I'm thinking this guy has the burger, and the ham has to be next to. It can't be one of the guys eating the ham though. None of these guys. Maybe this is like this. No, but one of them has to. No, the ham has to be next to the banana split. 
So maybe it's... She looks like a turkey, though. Maybe she eats the turkey. But it has to resemble him. I'm getting it, though. I'm getting there. So maybe she's eating a banana split, you know? And the banana split's next to the ham. And then... Maybe he's eating the burger, because it looks like him. But she doesn't have to be eating onion rings then, you know? Wait a second. Nobody ordered meals, I'm eating this, their spouse. Is this correct? No. That's not correct. That, that can't be that. Because it, it can't look like each other here. These guys can have something that looks like each other. JK Trooper, don't say anything, dude. Shut the hell up! I got this! I got this, okay? So one of the guys here is eating a fish. Yeah? And then... Hmm. Oh shit! It can't be the spouse that, like, resembles each other. So one lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. So that means this guy's eating the fish. Wait, no, that can't be it! So that means this guy's eating the fish. Because the only couple of guy and girl that does not, that don't date, is these two. So she's ordering something that looks like him. She's usually ordering the onion rings. Because they're the only couple that can have something that resemble each other. Okay? And he's eating the fish. She has something that resembles him. So she has the onion rings. Okay? Easy. And then one of them has a thing that resembles themselves. That's fine, we'll figure it out after. <laughs> He's thinking so hard. No, no, I got this! Fuck you! Kit Kat? No, no, we got this, okay? You'll see. And then... Yeah, so this is it. We got this one. And the handler should be sitting down next to the banana split. So... So the ham has to be next to the banana split. And they have to resemble each other. This is... wait. No, this won't work. This won't work. How do I get the ham next to the banana split? Sounds good. Just move it. No, I know. But the thing is that one of these people have to have a meal that looks like them. And the ham has to be next to the banana split. And how do we... So if this guy looks like a banana split, then this guy has to have the ham. But he d no, so then no one else looks like they have the food that resembles themselves. So you know what I mean? Give his wife the hand then? Whose wife? No, because she... The wife here needs to have the onion rings. Fishy lady can't eat burger, right? No, because it resembles her husband. So let's recap, okay? So no one of these resembled a meal that looks like each... Like their spouse. So... She can't order the banana, th this, he can't order the turkey, you know, and stuff like that. So what made my base, like, what started the base for me, for this is right, the, the onion rings and the fish, is that it's one lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. Since the spouse can have food resembling, like, each other, it has to be these two, since they're not spouse, and they're the only men woman sitting next to each other that aren't like together because he's sitting as a guy and they're sitting next to each other that's it so she's eating the thing that resembles him which is an onion and he's eating fish he's a man eating fish he's a fish eating man okay when he has it going see that's that's correct right so we got this one right and and then we've got one patron that resembles his or her meal so we need one person that, so we can figure it out later, but the thing is that the ham plate should be set down to the next to banana split. 
right? That this is where the problem lies. Okay. Wait, are these technically next to each other? Like, that's the thing. To me, it's like these are next to each other. Like this and this, this and this. The problem here. Swap turkey burger? Oh, sorry. But then it says one patron resembles his or her meal. And so far, none of the patrons resembles their own meal. You know? Animal Crossing, nice. They probably count next to each other here, you think? Then... Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. You know what? I'll, I'll help you guys out. Check this out. There you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> now you get to see. They, they, wait, do you think this is it? Banana split does? He does have it! Okay, and then the hammer... Oh, this works! I never... And why did I not... So this works, yeah? So she has the onion rings of the guy with many and fish and stuff. They don't look like each other. And then, what was the other rule? Then the ham is next to the banana split. Let's go, baby! We did it! That one's actually really fun. That was really fun. I like that one. That's like a fun puzzle. That wasn't so tough. The yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. This day freaks me out, so. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. I'm into some stuff. What? Who are you? There's oh, nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. Who are you? So, what's your name? Oh, sorry. Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you... Sorry about that. You've got nothing to do with it. Then, however you spend your time doesn't concern me. What stuff are you into? Soup. I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. Are you the one that stole the gnome? To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? <laughs> Loner Steve trains birds to transport fright. Right? Right, sorry. Tonight's shipment just departed, but Steve forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? There's so many puzzles in this game, man. I'm not even talking to the main guy from the for the story. Each type of oh fuck me, dude. We're, we're doing another screenshot. <laughs> Let's go. I, I don't I don't like I need visual, you know what I mean? Like I'm a visual person. There you go. Each type of birds that's in weight limit. Each bird shown is carrying the maximum amount it can. Birds may team up on the heavy loads. Each carrying with the... Wait, what? Fuck, it's a math thing! Oh, wait, what even am, I, am I even doing? What am I supposed to figure out? The number of gnomes? Okay. Oh, fuck this, I hate it. It can be just a. It could be 99 gnomes as far as we. Yeah, just over here. Yeah, I'm not good at math, okay? Just 
So the small bird's maximum is two gnomes. Then what the fuck is this, dude? Why can this small bird... Because, okay, because this bird can carry more. So this guy's limit is more. Therefore, if this is three, then this has... This must be just one gnome in there, right? Does that make sense? So far, does that make sense? This is because they're all carrying. Oh wait, what's the? Each bird is carrying the maximum amount it can, right? So this means that this small bird, it's two max. And if this big bird and this small bird can carry three together, then this must mean that this small bird's carrying two. What? Can the box be empty? I mean, that'd be fucking dumb, wouldn't it? I don't think so. Nodders? What does that mean? Are you falling asleep? The bluebird and the duck. Yeah, this one. Yeah? That's the one I was talking about. So this bird is carrying his max capacity. Which is two. So together, if this guy's two, then this guy can probably carry more than two. Because he's bigger. God, I fucking hate shit like this. It's so boring. Okay. I'm just gonna say that's. Like, I'm just gonna do, like, a quick, like. Look, this guy's maximum is two. And since there's three in there, I'm gonna assume that this guy is carrying most of the weight. And if there has to be something there, there's just gonna be one. I've got the answer. Would you fucking look it up? Exactly. So, so I'm just saying that there's one in this one. I wish we could like draw on the screen. I just did it. Well, you're smart, dude. I'm not that smart. There's one there. Together. So there has to be one there too. If this is I mean, I mean implying that this is the max he can carry is one on one leg, like I don't know why. There's something about that makes me think that the goose or whatever can carry like four. You know what I mean? Because if this is the max you can carry is like two here, let's say. And yeah, because I mean. This guy's taking the weight of one, because he can only carry two, and there has to be at least one in there. Right? Then this guy has the, 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 the weight of two in there. Right? So I don't think there's many more in here. And this guy's taking already one in there, and this guy can only... Two, and then like, what, two in there too? Like I... I could see this one having three, you know what I mean? It's like the same shape as this. Or maybe four, I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah, I should probably read the rules again. There's some stuff that I... Fright. Fright must be balanced if it only leaves me a bird's two legs. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, well... What the fuck? What would you do this? Get the fuck out of here. How do I ban you? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Dude, can you mute this person for a bit? <laughs> you just... First time in chat and you just spoil the answer? 
What's wrong with you? Balance between the two. So I think I was right with this. So if this guy's max limit is two, so there has to be one on each. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's their fault. So, two. So there has to be. To me, I think they're they they're four. So it'll be two, two, and then two in there, which would mean there's three in this one. So it'd be one, four, three, one. Nine. There'll be nine between all the hidden ones. So one, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifteen? I saw the guy's answer, now I'm doubting myself. <laughs> now I'm scared. Let's try the fifteen, and now I'm gonna feel stupid if the guy was right, you know what I mean? I'm worried now. <laughs> they were wrong to be honest, you think so? But that makes sense, so if... They have to distribute it evenly. And this, guy, this is two, then it has to be two on the other foot. Yeah, that makes sense. If it's two and this is one, there's three in this one. I'm saying 15. Because this is one, four, three. So one, four, five, plus three, eight, nine. And then plus five is. Wait, 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 but did I count wrong? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wait a second. One, five, eight, nine, eleven, fourteen. Am I stupid, dude? <laughs> good, thing, good thing I double checked, man. <laughs> yeah, the guy was right. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, you just do it again, and then you get like more tax and clear money. Oh, dude, I haven't done math in so long. Another puzzle solved. I haven't been in high school for a long time. Yes, yeah, so you can see how much taxpayer money. Because apparently every puzzle costs seventy-five thousand, which doesn't make sense. Hello, but. Sheriff. Agent Tethers, good. You're here. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I wanted to ask you. No time. I got a hunch about the factory. What? I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. What? Why would you do that? You know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. Raymond shares box photos to show the order of which factory workers left. What? Okay, well, obviously... This guy, this guy's going to his car, and this guy's after the guy leaving with the car, right? Now we just need to figure out if these were before that, or after. Because the car is there, which means, well, they were before him, obviously, because he left. Because the car is there. Number two's first? What makes you think it's first? Because of the footprints! My goodness, he made the footpr footprints first. He made the footprints, this guy follows, and then there's footsteps going to the car, and he took his car, and it's- yeah, easy. My goodness! $75,000 taxpayer money! Look at that, guys. Can we get some flashy shook in chat? Screenshot, please? Oh, I'm so sorry. I hate that it's no uh, window, uh, windowed full screen. In the sloth? What do you mean? Let me assess the thing. Clear things up. Yeah, You're yeah. so mean. I thought that we did good on this one. Right. You shit on me? I'll Looks fucking... like the last one out was Mike Lobb. <laughs> you think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Spence? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. 
God. Are you paying taxes? No. You Wait. Not. Do what to a what? Catch some fish. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could be an insurance. Now you just leave poor Glory alone. Okay. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. Okay, chill. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy to leave the factory was Mike Lobb. Drive out to Sesame Woods. Yeah, 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 okay. Is there anything I should know about the Sesame Woods? Well, they've got the odd Wolverine in them. What? But they're probably hibernating or... Okay, I'm gonna talk to these guys. I better... You bet. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere Yeah, else me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. That's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? What? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> what are these fucking... Daryl's famous insect collection has gone AWOL. Box them back up again by stringing lines between adjoining points. Keeping these rules in mind. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Alright, let's get these rules. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh. There you go. Close all the bugs using the fewest numbers of lines to draw a box possible. A box can be any size, but it must be four-sided. Bugs of the same kind can share a box. Each green grass grazer needs three square of territory. Each pink puddle pattern needs two. Okay. So as long as it's... Well, this is a fucking problem already. So what am I supposed to do? Use some of the line to draw a box possible. I mean, what? The lines is gonna be <laughs> like the. It's still gonna be a. It doesn't matter how big the box is. It's gonna be the same amount of lines, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, I, am I stupid? Wait. To draw a box, so it's, no matter the size of the box, it's the same amount of lines. Yo, I think this is... Wait, do they need three, like, per guy? Like, is this fine? One line from pin to pin? Like, is this good? You know what I mean? Like, I... Uh-oh. How do I... Is this what I... I guess if I did this and stuff, it'd be like, hey, don't do that. But it needs to be a, a square shape. I guess I'd, I'll have to do this here. Uh-oh. Because they need... They need three things of space. And it has to be... But they can't be... They can be together. It's just... It has to be a... Unless... Because it's at least, right? Wait. Is it each? I can just... I guess I could do that. Subtarshi? The green bug is each? Oh, is that, is, it, is that the... Oh, no, don't do that. Give me the rules. I know you guys can see it, but I... It says each on here, too. So 
So it has to be its own box. Each of them. Okay, so this isn't right then. So it'd have to be something like this. So something like this here. Where they both have two square each, right? And it'd have to be... Like that. I think they can share the open spot. Are you sure? Because, I mean, in the rules, it shows that, like... Because, like, I mean, here, wouldn't you just... Wait, what? I think they can share, but the open spots have to scale. What do you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, this is so... Is it in total? Like, like, is this fine to me? That's what I'm asking. I'm wondering. Because there's no example of that. So is this like a good example? Because it is three squares in total. But does that mean... So you think... This is fine. What if I close it like this? You think that'd be fine? Because I mean, there is four in total now. Oh, so you just think that I, 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 could, I, it has to be like this. Does it? But like, the, like, does this count as one? You know, like, is this like a space? I guess this would just be a necessary line, basically. That. No, because each needs great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this one doesn't count for this guy, because this guy's using it, I guess. I don't know. Yes, but Rolfi says they can share if there's the same kind of bug. I thought they were just meant... I guess, I guess it doesn't, so I guess, can I reset? So that, that means this is fine, then. And this is fine. If they need two spaces each. Wait. So it'd be like this. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. In the box, including the space they're on, they need two. So this he has this one and this one, and this one has this one and this one. That works. Then this isn't right, then. What? I guess? I don't think- I think the bottom don't need the extra spot. Oh, okay, yeah, because even if there's a bug on it, doesn't mean it's not territory. I get you, I get you. So it'd be like this. And these guys have one, two, three. Because it's including the one they're on. Okay, okay. So this one's bothering me a bit. This one here. Because it has to be rectangular. Or something. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not a puzzle thing. Mm, you're right. But some of them, some, some of them are like wait really easy. I was to say it has. I thought it was at least. Oh. So I'm assuming... Would that be like the easy, simplest way to do this?
I don't think they can share territory? I mean, they can if they're the same species. We need the fewest lines. Yeah, that's the problem here because it's they seem to, to imply that it has to be a you know a rectangular shape, but like can it just be this instead? Like because this would be less lines. Like if I did this here, like this is a bigger square than they need, but they still got all the space they need. They they they, they can't have it's because it would work because they have enough space, and they got a it's a, it's a rectangular slash square space. No wait no. You don't have enough space? It needs four sides. One, two, three, four. Two free spaces each, including the one they're on. Oh, so it's not long enough. Well, yeah, because the, this guy... I don't know if this it works like diagonal. So if it doesn't work diagonal, then yeah, I'm gonna have to do this shit here. You know? This, the one they're on, and the one that they're with next to the person. So, one, two, three, one, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, and then this is one, two, three. Well, so wouldn't that work? Because it's including the one they're on, as you can see in the, the, including the square it's on. So if they get to go, so they, they, they get to, so th if this doesn't work, then these don't work either, because there's a bug on it. Think of L structures also, that doesn't work. L structures don't work because it's uh it's not a square shape. But can it be including the one the others on? It doesn't say that it can because it says it can share the box. What's the point of sharing the box if you can't? They can't like be like this. I'm gonna get a hint. Maybe it'll, it'll clear something up. Let's see. I have eleven fucking hints. The bugs can be closed in no fewer than five boxes. Oh man, I don't know English. What does no fewer mean? So you, they can do it in five boxes, is that what it's saying? The bugs in the are literally sharing space. Where? None of them are. This one's not closed. So at least five minimum? This is five boxes. <laughs> They can share a box, not the space in the box. So I guess we're saving the line like this, basically. So you're, we're thinking that this is what it needs. I mean, these can all share a box together, but can we not do this? You know? Too little space for these guys. They need two each, including when it's on. I guess... Life sucks! I wanna hear another hint. I wanna hear about it. Okay, so it is like we thought. So, yeah, they need specifically that amount of space. So this is right here. So... I could see this being a thing, right? So the, this and then the thing that's on. But if we want to save lines, honestly, can we not just do this? Because one, two, three, four. What this? No, wait, this isn't right. Because these guys need their space too. This is creeping me out. I'll help you finish with this later. Okay. Don't leave me hanging. Excuse me? Okay, I guess we're leaving. Bug this puzzle. Yeah, it's a brute-ass game. What the hell? I was 
doing something. I didn't even click anything, y'all. It, it just booted me out. No, fuck this. They, they, they don't want help, so whatever. Is that a gnome? I pull out my gun. It took too long. I don't know. Is there a time limit? I'm allowed to, to make sure, right? That's the thing with these. It's just all that little fucking... The wording is like... Makes you unsure of everything. The snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw... It doesn't matter. I'm on my way to question Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts. But to get there, I have to go through Sassamy Woods. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. All right. Sassamy Wood. Let's go, baby. Is this Bo? Puzzle guy? Is this guy dead? Hello? He's dead! Ugh. I think I found Mike Lobb. Man, late 30s. Looks like he froze to death, trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm gonna have a look. Was Mike Lobb following Isaac? Rotate tiles to, to chart a path from Mike Lobb to the ice fishing house, but beware. Lest the pad intersect with one uh, upon which a shadowy figure lurks. Oh. I'm assuming it's like that. So. What the fuck? So we can't go to a shadowy figure. What? Hey, what is it? What? So I can't have it touch a shadowy figure. Since I don't have a fucking choice with some of these. Unless I do this, <laughs> then it can't go right, you know what I mean? Like. You know what I mean? Like a that goes going. Yeah, it looks like he died in the daily crossroom. I don't finish it for him. It's funny. Are, are we supposed to make a path for him? What am I doing? So am I supposed to just get a path working? I, like, which one he's gonna choose? You know? I don't get it. <laughs> like, I don't... This one, I, These games kind of piss me off. Because it, there's no information. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Because, like, uh, of course some of these will lead to a gnome. You know what I mean? Do I just have to make it not? Like, here, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, I, I just make it unaccessible? Just like this? Then, like, this doesn't work because they all lead to a gnome. I mean, the gnome doesn't have a path here, so I'll just keep going like that. And then this path's gonna go here. Then this path can go down, and it will go to the thing, so... Whoop, go down, go to the left because you can't go right. And then... You can't go down, you can go up and go there. But let's make it so you can't reach the gnome. Shit, it might reach the gnome. Is that the problem? Is this what's going on? You might go up. Let's see. I just want to see what the fuck ha even happens. You know? You don't get to see? Yeah, he's gonna get rejected. What the fuck? Yeah, I know, but usually, um, like, the, the other path thing that I did, uh, it was showing him, like, going. You know? I wanted to see what happened. Like, how it worked, but it, we don't get to see it. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. This game's bullshit. I kinda hate it. Now there's a pad too. No, it doesn't work. Can't move it. Oh, so if it can't move, then I guess it has to come on down to here.
they all lead to the gnome. This guy can't. So like this. Go up. Like that. So he goes here. Goes down. He can't go there. So that's good. He go here. Can't go to the gnome. But he can't go there. But won't reach a gnome. Go down. If he goes down here. He'll reach a gnome. So make it not go down. So he can go here. He can go down. But he can't reach the gnome. He'll just keep going. And go to the house. Hey. Let's go. Flashy shook. No way. Got any great games for a group of six people? A uh, Jackbox, Pummel Party. Yeah, I don't know. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Oh boy. Except the bug one. Oh, sorry. I, I, I didn't yeah. mean. He's alive. Ah! They, they, they tried to, 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 to take him. Uh, lock must not block on the factory door. Key. Yugi, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome. We'll be doing the stream. Oh, the cog. Why did you have it? Oh. Did you just die? What is this thing? I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. Lobster? I'm going to hold on to it for later. Lake spins. The lake with the ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have this affliction. Why am I going to Lake Spence? Should I not put the cog back in? I should have gotten oh my god. I mean he's dead. What are we gonna do, right? Found some freshly caught fish out on the lake. Looks like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Mr. Scruffman. You following me, boy? No, sir. Oh, he's mad. You look like a lost puppy. Go home, puppy. Let me start uh, I can't ah, leave okay. until I get that just factory you. back open. I have a few more questions for if you. If you enjoyed the content provided to you, you and do. you also happen to yeah, have nice mustache on this guy, right? Thank you there for the almost to to two channel. years. Thank you so it's much for the long time sucks, support. Dude. That's crazy. Nice mustache. Nice fishing hut. Glory, alibi, lobster. Is this your hut? It's nice. Nope. Oh. Well, what are you doing then? Fixing stuff. It's my job. Lots of stuff getting broke lately. Things get broken on these huts a lot? Everything gets broken a lot. Keeps me busy. Hmm. Don't get any ideas. I just do my job. Okay. I understand you have a, a thing for Mrs. Davner. No, sir. Just think she's pretty. I expect you do as well. Where were you on the night of the accident? Busy. You accusing me of something? I'm just asking. It's part of my job to be thorough. I was working at the hotel. Okay, see? That was easy. Easy peasy. Stop being a dick. Alibi. Where were you on the night of the accident? The hotel. And... Working at the hotel. Okay. You had to go through the woods to get here. Didn't you see a guy freezing on a tree stump? Yep. What the Why fuck? Why didn't you help him? He didn't ask. Best not to interfere with acts of nature. So you just let a guy die out there? Had nothing to do with it. The cold will creep right up on you. Interesting. Goodbye. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Ooh, this Mr. Scruffman claims he was movement. working the night of the accident. I'm headed over to the hotel to check out his story now. 
Okay. Can I uncheck the fishing line? Okay. Shh, go back. Are we going to the hotel, he said? I mean, why don't we go to the factory real quick? And then put That's the weird. thing in. This That's weird. This gear is too small. Wait, so the gear we got is too small for the thing? Interesting! Sorry about that. Yeah, wouldn't that get you in trouble that you let a guy die, you know? Where are we going again? We're going to the hotel, right? <clears throat> Hello again, Mr. Bjorn. Bjorn, yeah. I like him. He's funny. Oh. Do you know Randall Scruffman? I do. He's a good man. Good stuff. Despite his stock, you think he could have had anything to do with the accident at the factory? Why don't you just let things run their course? Accidents happen, Mr. Tethers. So, Randall Scruffman. He's a valuable member of this community, and that'll be enough of you trying to say otherwise. Okay. Sorry. Do you think Glory Davner's capable of violence? Hmm. <laughs> so that's a no. Goodbye. What was that? Oh. Heard a crash and a scream coming from inside the inn. Going inside to see what happened. I hope I won't need backup. Action! We're I heard gonna... a scream. Is everything okay in here? The pipe on the fireplace. I turned my back on it for one second and boom! Uh, uh. Okay, don't panic. I'm sure we can find a way to fix it. With a puzzle. Rotate tiles to reconstruct the roof. The stoves flew before the lobby fills with smoke. The stovepipe may split, but all sections must rejoin on, on the way to what? Oh, okay. So we just have to make it reach the chimney. Oh, isn't it? No, never mind. Why did I just get jump scared, bro? Wow, that scared me! <laughs> he stole it! What the heck was that? Hurry, it's getting away. Saw a thing. It stole some pipe. Going. <laughs> this is terrifying. Checking out. Oh my, but what about my furnace? You're all done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad, <laughs> or the National Guard, or, or or the someone better equipped to handle your situation. Oh, I Funny. see. Guess I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Oh my God! Excuse me. Yeah, the sheriff told me to give him a buzz the moment you left town. Wait, why? Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. Oh my so, goodness. will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? I'm not leaving. What is Sheriff Bog hiding? Um, what if and in this lock, dream... It's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around. See this through. Oh, great. Hot dish all around. <laughs> I cute. think the sheriff wants me out of town. And what is the deal with that gear I found on Mike Lobb? I need to see a man about a furnace pipe. Um, also, what if his dream? His dream, you know when the astronaut revealed his face? What if it was a gnome and he got scaled, you know? What was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If, if two rows are white and rotations affect orientation, then, then, huh? Since Bo's brain got scrambled, all inputs en inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots to redirect a stream of thoughts to the light of lucidity. What the fuck is this? Oh, there's rules. All right. Do it. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thought from Nelson up to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. Brain tube will cause the stream to go. Wait, a brain tube will cause the stream of thought. 
to bounce off at a right angle. When you think you have the range, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I have to... What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> So the brain tubes will cause a stream of thought to bounce off at, at a right angle. At a right angle? So like if it hits it there, will it just go 90 degrees left or right? Is it in a right angle like a 90 degree angle? I'm French, please forgive me. So it'll hit it right? I thought a right angle... What is the 90 degree angle? What is it called? And Is that a right angle? Yeah, so what makes it either this or, or, or this, you know? What makes... Like the actual tubes? Oh, so it goes... Or... Okay, okay, thanks. I guess we wanted to just go blue up. And then... Goodness. Um... So I'm assuming it's already going left, right here? I don't... <laughs> is it going right? This is what I mean. I need more information. Is this where it starts or does it go right up here? You know? And it goes all the way up. And I can't go up. And if I go left, I'm going right into the pit of despair or madness or whatever. So I think I'm going right. And it's going to go up. And it's going to go right. Then it's going to go up again. And then we have to go left, I guess. Then we're going to go back down. Then we're going to go here. Then we're going to go back down again. Then we're going to go <laughs> right. Then we're going to go down. Then we're going to go right again. Then we go back up. Then we're going to go left. Oh, we can't choose anything here. What? No. We don't have a down. We just let it go down. No, that doesn't work. Got peanuts going. Let me reset. What the fuck is this? The only way to reach the light is if it comes from here and goes inside, or if it comes from down here. So maybe we have to go left here, actually. And go up and go into the light. Shit. Okay, so go here. Go left. Go up like this, like this, like this. And then go right. We're gonna go. And then we're gonna go here. No, wait. No, that's wrong. Don't go there. So, what did I do last time? I went left like this, and then it went. And then it went down. Then we're gonna go right. And then we're gonna. Go like this and go back up it okay hey and then up go here bew, bew, bew. go down bew. and then go down here boom 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 bew, into the light oh sorry this this is really not necessary actually <laughs> gotta fill all the spaces though wait is that a thing no you don't do you No, I don't think it has to be. I mean, even if I do something here, it won't matter. Rule number one? Oh. Are you sure it has to be each of the... But this one won't matter, right? Wait, okay, maybe I should just... Just put the, the arrow there then. Oops. Yeah, so okay, this should be fine then. Hello? You see, like, this one shows where how it works, you know what I mean? The other ones didn't. Let's fucking go. Easy peasy. 
top agent. Well, that was a very interesting puzzle, but... The whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Oh, another cog. Another gear. Hmm. Gear, sorry. Let's go fix that fireplace. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what am I doing? Just as long as this meets back with the chimney, basically. Doesn't this work? Go down, go here, and then it goes back down. Does it just work? What? The stove pipe may slip, split, but all the sections must rejoin. Oh, I just thought it was like, as long as there's one going, it'll be fine. So if it splits, it has to rejoin where? Are you fucking wet? What are you saying? So... This doesn't really work. So if... What? There's no loose ends. Yeah. It's hard. Awful. <laughs> Am I doing it? This is getting close to it. So this, and then it goes down to it. Then if it doesn't, it can go all the way around. Am I? Did I do it? This works. I think it does. I think it works. Your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. You FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. <laughs> Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, among us. rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Okay. Mm Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? Oh, yeah. Tourists love the stories. But Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh, well, maybe ask oh Bjorn yeah. About it. They don't like the decorative Ouch. gnomes in my window. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. It still I is. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh, yeah, all night. That's bullshit. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Who has Bjorn about it? Oh, I get to open the door twice. Hmm? 
Well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. My glove is dead. Is, does it check and out? The just fence not even fixed. Living garden gnomes. I think I'm gonna head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bog. Yeah, he wants us out of the, the town. Oh, Bjorn's not here, but yeah, the, this fence. Oh. Help wanted. Oh, the varsity muskrat got after school jobs at Hank's window shop, but they can't skip football practice. Help them complete a pass without breaking any glass. Wait, what? Okay. Can I pass it to him? Okay, okay. Wait, can I just start from anyone? What, what, do I have to get everyone? So wait, what? I mean, you know what a pass is? I can just do this, and this is good. This is a pass. This is a pass. <laughs> you know, like, uh, give me more info! Who made this game? Fucking morons, man. So I'm assuming I gotta get hit all the, the football guys. Is that it? Is that a pass? Oh. Does that work or do I have to finish it? Do I have to tie it a knot? Fine, I'll try it. Boba Fettuccini, how's it going? Hey, there we go. Well, that takes care of that one. That's it? There was no reason for that? Okay, well, let's go to the diner. Sheriff. Wait, what? We don't talk about the fact that he wanted us out of town? I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checks out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Is it one of those, like, uh... The Orient Express where everyone's involved, you know? Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. I thought it was relating to the baby thing. Have you like, heard what? about this hidden people hey, superstition? Katie, yeah. Hidden people? <laughs> Oh, no, you missed me, like, getting mad uh, at some dumbass puzzles. Going there, Tether. A government <laughs> yeah, he's agent investigating elves and hippie legends. Uh, we're we're yeah. picking up speed How'd on the puzzles, but we're doing it. Hey, Toaster, how's it going? That sounds like you have Talk had a busy toaster, day. Yeah. Let's wrap it up for... But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that it, factory dude. up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. <laughs> puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. Hey guys. What does that mean? Means I'll see Come you on. in the morning. I've been doing good with fast Kevin. puzzles. There was just one that really stumped me, okay? It's not the way I think. I've been looking at these every time I walk out the store, and I don't really like to look at them. There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Everyone's like looking at me. I hate it. Let's go see the guy uh, that was working on the lock. Okay, Seven. Come on, man. That was an accident. Leave me alone. More water. Hey, bitty, itty bitty bee. How's it going? 
Yeah, where's the lock on the outside? Wait, what was he saying about the lock on the outside? This is a cabin. Wouldn't you want to lock it on the outside? Like, Mr. Scruffman? You still here? Yes, I am. I, I still have a couple... Okay, what was he talking Thanks. about then? He was talking about something about the lock on the outside. Hey, Yomogadodo comes in with the raid. How's it going? Good fucking game. Yeah, it's, it's alright so far. I like the story and stuff. Some of the puzzles piss me off, though. I hope you guys had a good stream at Yomo's. Welcome, welcome. What am I even supposed to be doing? None of these... None of these gears work. Yomo was right. Was right what? Was the story the... the Eraser factory had an explosion. I'm trying to figure out what happened. What exactly is my, like, my goal right now? Yeah, I talked to him. Does he just call it a night? Do I just... Someone left... Looks clean. I'd better not. <laughs> Fair, honestly. I've been playing for... What, like two hours? Yeah, air's crazy, dude. It's, it's been wild. I don't like when it's this flowy. So, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I talked to the sheriff, and now what? I'm gonna go talk to him again. <laughs> the puzzles figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Oh, there's gum right there. Those chairs weren't here before, were they? Yeah. One of them Nordic guys brought him in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for. Hmm. Something odd about them. Something, something creeping on this stick of stack of issue uh, shares. Arranged them to do be. Oh no. Is it just putting them in for me? <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's just... This must have been- Oh, okay, I get it. I have to set- I, I have to put the, the- put it together. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just putting him for me. <laughs> Let's put this here. There, yeah. Just so we can see what it- what it looks like a bit. It's like... No. What the fuck even is this? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ew, what is this, man? It's so ugly. That's not right. This is it. And this uh, thing goes. No. This goes here. Then this goes here. No. This goes right here. Is that it? That's, that seems like it's it, right? Why would I want to know this? Why? Am, what am I gonna learn from this? Yay! I did it. I... Cool. Now what do we do with this that information? Image you just made. That's the symbol those lodge guys use. Oh shit! Really? Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? You mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? He's one of those old Nordic guys who hangs out at the lodge. Brothers of Scoggins, or something like that. Brothers and weirdos, if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. Thanks, uh, guys. Alright. What do you guys know about Bjork? Bjorn just that. To look more and more suspicious. Just the fact just that he's got a tip that he holds secret an old guy. In a local lodge. In that. Remember, see, I wonder if it's the same one. Go to the lodge. I just noticed something. Shit. 
Lodge. Hey, Cisco. Of course, having fun. I thought that was gum. It is not gum. There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Lobb was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. What did what did Mike say? He's like, don't do this, don't blah blah blah, you Looks know? Looks like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Well, I mean I can totally see the window. Made this a puzzle then. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All these fucking puzzles. You gotta finish the game to get it. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. Draw a single straight line from one red dot to another that will slice through everything. Through every bear. Very looking, okay. Wait, whoops. Just one line? Nope. That won't slice through everything. That won't slice through everything. I think that slices through everything. No, that does not slice through everything. This is hard and expected. Yeah, we finished play Silly Leafy. Exclamation point uh, VOD if you want to see it. VODs. Exclamation point VODs. It's on my VOD channel. I mean, I can see the window, you know, I don't have to do this. I mean, like, if this wooden plank goes, does it free this chain, I'm assuming? Like, you know? And, like, if this chain goes, like, you know, if this wood goes, does this chain go? You know what I mean? Like, if so, you want to get all the wood, right? All the chains are attached to wood. And if I get the wood, then I get... Then I get the chains, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, isn't does that make sense? Isn't this it? I I guess. Oh, I, I do get that chain. I do get that chain, and I get that chain. Yeah, I think this is it. Actually. <laughs> Let's see. Good stuff. We did it. Brain. Can we get some flashy shook and chat? Thank you. Thank you. Let's look in there. Ah. If you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Bob! Oh, you startled me. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tatters. What are you doing here? What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural traditions. But that's their business, not yours. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Tethers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. True. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Dabner in there. The waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. Time to go, Agent Tethers. Can you tell me what to do? I'll like escort a... you back to the hotel. Okay, I guess he can. Whatever. Honestly, I got fucking um, jump scared night. by the gnome Turn earlier. In, Agent Tathers. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. Yeah, this is weird. How you're trying to control me, dude. Am I okay? And trust me, you don't want to be out here either. Why are you saying that? I'm gonna come out tonight. Everyone's involved. Come on, it's like it's uh, Orient Express. Definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. Catch her! And now Glory Davner's sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her.
Nelson still got snowmobile trouble. Rearranged the logs so we will track through all the footprints before having a glorious destination. What? Um, am I supposed to just get here? Like this? Oh, I can't put it on... The... What? Oh, I have to go through all the footprints before getting... Oh, okay. So... Uh... So I'm gonna go... I go down, right? So I'm gonna go through all these. Can I go through there or am I gonna get killed? You know? Flash finally coming out. Congrats, you're so brave. Wait, what did I do? I don't know what I said. Trees are bad. Are these trees bad? They seem like they're chilling, though. Did I accidentally come out? Then I guess, uh... Uh, I guess maybe this... What'd you say? <laughs> what the fuck? The nice, they have a nice path between them. You think that works? If I do this, boom, 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 and then... Oh, I can't do that. Because I'll just go straight. Oh, I can, I'll do this. And then I do this. So, boom, 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 boom. Yes! Sorry. Huh? Here, dude. You still have those uh, chocolate chips? Yes! Thank you. Oh my god, I thought they were done. Do you mind if I don't last? Thank you. Let's go, baby. I jumped really hard. I'm <laughs> sorry. You said you were coming out tonight. Oh, right. Thank you, guys. Glory was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her. Huh? Her husband's there still. She's feeding him. Never mind! Uh-oh. Ah! There's so many. I passed out. What the hell? What the fuck? Huh? Oh, that's me! Where am I? This development is crazy. Wait, do I know you? Dude, is that? You. You're the foreman. Yeah! Isaac Davner. What happened to you? What are those things? We're in the space, gnomes? dude. Was that real? <laughs> yes? What is it? What? You were bald all this time, right? No! <laughs> That's the big twist. I'm pretty sure we see it at the beginning, no? Draw paths to reconnect the loose ends. Red to red and yellow to yellow. But be careful not to let the wires cross. Oh, okay. So, I'll...
Fuck, dude, this is bullshit. <laughs> Can I just do like something like this? No, it has to be. Well, I guess we're doing the stupid yellow one first. Uh, get, get away. Stop it. So I'm just gonna. I already hate this. No, I can't block the path of the yellow. Oh, do I have to really... I'm just going to reset. Let's say I do this. Let's say I'm like, hey, I'm just going to go to the yellow real quick. Don't mind me. Whoops, I'm stupid. Can I just do that? That works. Unless there was a rule like, hey, don't make it long, dude. Boom. Let's go, baby. Who's the smartest guy in the world? Me. <laughs> the guy that can't count. Oh, I wake up. On the couch. Hey, what are they doing? What happened? I found you unconscious in the woods. Did they speak to you? <gasps> Who speak to me? The gnomes, dumbass. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna need some real answers now. What exactly is going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries in life. You cannot solve. Speak to them yourself if you want solutions. I guess you can do that. What are these little creatures hey, I keep seeing? They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us, living in what nature still exists around us. I was just gonna try to steal your food. Isaac Dabner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm gonna need a second to question these people. Do what you must. This is crazy. Oh, he goes meditating. You see them, don't you? Listen to their words. Their riddles. Edvard knows it's time to stock the Wind Watch Watchy River with Grickle bags. What the fuck? Drag the four cr clutches of fish to release points, keeping in mind these rules. Oh my god, dude. in case we need that. Schools will swim towards the river splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh marmots will eat all fish who enters their turf. The marmots are either in mifkip, mif, mif, mis, miskif, <laughs> mif, pip, mif pick marsh or abdominal swamp but not both places. This is a horrible. I hate it. You know what I've realized about life? I fucking hate thinking, honestly. It sucks. What even is the rules? Sorry. Schools will swim towards the river, splitting even the age fork, okay? So if I start at A with these, they're gonna be like four going A and B, and 16 of them have to make it to the end? No more no- uh. So 
of the marmots are either in Mifkif, Mifkif Marsh or these are not both. I don't get it, dude. So it's gonna be four, four, four. The four gonna go there. But then there's four that are gonna arrive here, but there's gonna be eaten. I really don't get it, dude. You wanted the most to make it here because they won't they'll split there and then they'll well, don't what you want least Ugh, i don't i think i think i'm gonna have to end this soon <laughs> my brain's not working anymore fucking math dude What, I don't get the whole marmots are either in Mifkit, Mifpif, Mifpip, Mifpick, oh my god, Mifpick, or these and not both. I don't get this whole thing. Which one is it? Tell me. You know what I mean? So there's eight here, six here. So that's, what, 14? Eight plus six? I don't have a calculator. I got a phone, I guess. We got 21 fish in total. And what do I do with this information? Uh, do I have to? Come on, give me a break. Let's split off in half here. I, I really, I cannot stand math. It's so boring to me. I don't know. I'll just do this, honestly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, just, I don't, I don't, coward, fuck you. So how many do they eat? All fish, so, oh, so if, so if there's fish that go, so these fish are going to start here, there's going to be four that are going to go there, and then an extra four, so there'll be eight fish, and this if they go up here, there'll be four there, and they'll all die. The rest of the four are gonna die here. It's gonna be four going up there. Right? So it's gonna be four, but we need 16. And then this way will be four more fish. And this will be... And then plus three fish. That's seven fish are gonna just die. Implying they're there. I don't... I don't get it. So there's six and I make it out here. Six are gonna make it out this way, plus the four. That's ten of them. So as long as like here there's at least six of them that go in one of these. So maybe That doesn't make sense to me. I don't. Is there a timer? I don't know, dude. The thing that bothers me is the fact that, like, these fucking. The marmots can be at either. But not at both places. So we just choose? Do we can just choose one? Like, in my head? Like, they're gonna be at Mythpiff? Mythpick? So let's say they go at Mythpick. They die there. So we want. So we'll have four going up there, plus the two, because they split here. That's six that go up there and survive. And then, wait, it's four there, plus four, that's eight. Then they're gonna split up. Actually, four go up there, not six. Why'd I say six? Myth Piff, oh shit. I think four is in the wrong spot. Well, let's see. So, four go up there, plus these two. But plus these four, yeah, so they're gonna be 
eight. And then the four there, four die, four here. We need four, six, four, basically. And these four go down here. And these three go up. That's seven. That Yeah, that doesn't make, that's not right. That's not right. This one can't split evenly. What happens? They just get stuck. So these, these, these three have to go just directly because they can't split evenly. They'll get stuck. It's going to be these two. Two will go there and then these two will go down here with them. So they'll be, they'll be five that come out here. Uh, yeah. I've got it. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll get there. I just, my, 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 my brain's not. Is, is not here for this type of shit right now. Like, I've been <laughs> playing this game for three hours, you know? Okay, so... So the three have to be here. They can't be there because they can't split. So three is 100% here. And then... It's just a visualizing thing. So don't, don't, don't tell me that I can't put stuff where. I, I, I know. I, I... Don't tell me what to do, guys, okay? Let me figure it out. I didn't ask for help. We're good. I'll figure it out. I got this. Did you say pair three and six on the top? I can't do that, by the way. The three cannot split. Oh, sorry. I thought that the, yeah, the, the rules say that if a school can't split, they'll be paralyzed with indecision. Cause if they're here, they, they have to split at this fork here. They go directly in the water. Three plus three is six. What are you saying? Oh, I get what you mean because because they'll be okay because they'll be a group together they'll be a, an even number oh my brain is stupid bro my brain be dumb i don't think schools can combine though that's how i've been thinking about it though how do you determine how they split then if the schools can't combine then i might have to keep it down here so that means that when i th these come there that means three will go up and then two of these will go up. So we can five are gonna go up as opposed to being like, I guess a, it, it still be becomes the same. It's still the same number. Paralyzed engine means it will, that means it will wait. I think it implies it just can't like, like this wouldn't work because they can't split there. I don't know, that's the thing, like, this is what the questions that I have that aren't answered. It pisses me off. You know what I mean? Like, it, it annoys me. Like, can they go together? Let's see if the hint, like, clarifies that. The smallest clutch of fish should be released in the safest spot. Okay, so that, that confirms my theory of this here. The safest spot. Right? This won't work here because... If three go up there... And these two split off with this, it's gonna be a group of uh, seven of them. And you can't split that evenly. Unless. I'm such a visualizer that I can't visualize this properly. You know what I mean? Too many video games. I've already done this combo. 
I'm gonna need to take some run for this. <laughs> well, they don't want to. I don't know. You slept her at what's the safest spot? Which is I don't. Know. I don't remember. Let's try this. I, I should maybe should have counted right so uh, four up there's gonna be six of them so three will go three down whoa okay let's see we choose this one as like the die you die so four will go there and threes so that's seven that's ten and then and three. Would that work? Like let's say I'm just saying the myth piff myth pick, sorry, is the bad spot. Wouldn't that come like so there's four that go there, and then there's six of them, right? And then So You say the swamp is safe? Yeah, that was 17. I'm saying, really? Do I? So, so, let's say there's four there, then there's six total, three up, three down, three of them die. There's three at the top. Now four go down, and the swamp is safe, and then with three of them, so that's seven that make it through, right? So that's three plus seven, that's 10. And then there's the three rest, and then those three go down and make it safe. Which would make six of them. Wouldn't that be 16? If I math wrong? I mean, clearly, because this is not the right answer. But my logic makes no sense. I Did I count wrong? <laughs> oh my... Oh, what, what, am I, what did I count? I don't know why. Oh, I, I took these four and then did plus two. I don't know why. Because I was like, oh, then two of those are going to go up. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm a fucking moron. Oh, goodness. My brain is really turning off. Okay, so let's count that again. Goodness. You're not supposed to know which fish are which. It doesn't matter, I think. All the bottom go through, so six, three and a half, is Yeah. Let's start with the bottom, actually, because this is a safe bet. So we got a, a safe bet down here. So... We won't... We have to choose how many die, you know? Ow, my fucking hair. We count in French gives you six. Hey, perhaps. I think I'm I just like I don't know what I did. I don't really don't know what I did. I know that four plus four is eight. I don't know what happened there. I think I saw four, then I saw yeah, there's two there. It's two sets of two because they split off in two and I was like, yeah, six, you know. I don't think the back fish come out with the front fish. Are you just thinking like these two go first? There's two that went up, then these die. And then these come in, there's four. <laughs> two in there, go two go up. Because those died. That's four at the top. And then four go down here. And then three go there. That's seven. That's eleven. So yeah, you're right. That would become that plus a six, that's seventeen. Let's say. Three of them go up, three of them die. Four of them go up, that's seven, four of them die. And then here, four of them go down. That's seven, I said, right? No. Did I say seven? What did I say? It's the same result? Yeah, I guess technically. It is easier for me to think that way, though. Honestly. So I, I kind of like it more like that. Are we still on this? I don't know, Cisco. Why don't you figure it out? You're so smart.
I have to restart because of you, because you made me mad. So that's seven up there. Died. Four go down. Two go up. That's five. That's the same. Is that the same result? No, that's not the same result, right? I think this works. I think this works, no? Just now. So four. So these three go up. They survive. These three die. And then four go up. Oh, shit. Wait. No, I, I, you're right. I counted wrong. Because these two have to split. So two go up. So uh, that's five. There's five up there. Are we supposed to predict the movement pattern of fictional fish? Because they have rules. So wait, three, then five, five, die, four, five, and then two, and that's 15. Now, I don't think that's it, no? Because three will go up, three will die. And then here, there's four that go here, and then they'll split it, split up. So there's going to be five here, and then there's four plus two. That's six. Yeah, this is good. This is good. We're good. I don't I just can't do math. I just can't do simple addition. Oh wait, this is good, right? This is, we, we did it. This is good. What? <laughs> yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm loving this. Okay. Listen, let's say the abdominal swamp is the right thing, right? So, oh, it has to work in both ways, I think. Hint it out? Sure. The group of four fish will suffer some losses before they reach the river, no matter where the marmots are hiding. That means they have to be there? Is that what they're hinting? The group of four fish will suffer losses no matter where the marmots are hiding, which means they either have to go up or down. Why, why is that? Okay. Sure. So they go up there. There's two of them. They go up and this, then one of them goes down and dies. So only one of them makes it up. And these three can't split. This isn't right. So I don't think these can be there because... Oh, they can split evenly in three. I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So three will go up. So one will go up, three will go up, four. Then the rest will die. So there's four that makes it up. Four. Then two of them will go down with six of them. And with four, there'll be six in total. So that's ten. And four plus three. That's seventeen. Yeah, if you have twenty fish, you only need sixteen. Maybe I'm thinking about how to kill them. You know? Wait, so. Two go there and one goes up. Three, uh, four, zero. Two go down with four. That's six. Four plus six is ten. And four plus three is seven. That's 17. So that's not right. Four go up plus one. That's five. Two go down with a three. That's that's five. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think we did it. Okay. So there's four of them go up, plus one of them that splits here. That's five. The rest die a myth pick. <laughs> Two go down, and then three come here. They survive in the swamp. That's five of them. So that's ten, and then three and three make it down. That's six. We did it, right? And then that, that that works both ways, because math. Let's go! <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> one star, borderline. My goodness. <laughs> he dies. That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? All we can do the language. Uh. No, not fucking riddles, dude. I'm really mad at that. Sorry, I'm just gonna.
I hate puzzles. I mean, I, mean, uh, I hate, uh, sorry, I, I hate, uh, I hate puzzles too, but I hate, uh, this shit. It only takes four guesses, press everything. <laughs> Blind Lars Yorkson's mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks, five striped, five played, five spotted, and five argyle. Wait, and five with owls playing fiddle. Being a teenager, Lars failed to pair his socks and threw them early into the drawer. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can be absolutely certain he's holding at least one matching pair? I don't know. If what? I'm just gonna go with C and hope it's right. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess this one. I don't. I don't feel like it. What'd you say? I can't hear you. That's fine. Got it. I am just really smart. So. That's it. I just don't have the brain for this. All right. How much much longer the game do we have? I wanna if there's like half of it, I'd like to do it on the stream. I just think I'm not. I'm just kind of tired of fucking riddles right now. I'm looking at a photograph of the Brotherhood, Isaac and Michael. Oops. I don't think. Sorry. Rocks, trees, animals. Do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mister Tethers? Hmm. A quote on a lap. No, I shouldn't have talked to him. Bjorn has photos that show a quorum of crows in, in this clothesline, the dark omen. Keeping in mind the images may overlap. What's the minimum number of crows pictured? What are you saying? What? Wait, what are you saying? Minimum number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Easy. I'm kidding. So this bird on the right can be this bird, possibly. Maybe, who knows. And then... It says they may overlap? So, like, let's say... This bird is this bird. And there's two, four. And this bird can totally be this bird. You know? And this bird can be this bird. And this bird can be this bird. But also this bird. I don't know exactly to phrase this. Like, do I remove one for every you know, like, bird that it po could it possibly be, you know? How do I, like, convey this idea that I have, you know what I mean? Um, so let's say this here. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean, like, how do I convey this in my brain, you know? How do I give you a number? There's three right here. There's three there. And then there's could be this one. So like there could be five. Or you have five at least. So there's five at least so far. Wait, wait, what is the minimum number? I mean, yeah, the the minimum is three because that's the most amount of birds that there is in the picture. Would that make sense? You know? Yeah, I'm, I'm just too tired for this. So. I think it's nine. Seven? Oh wait, why do you guys think seven? 
Wait. Okay, maybe I, I might have uh, miscounted. I think it's three. Because I'm thinking, let's, I'm thinking this as a base, right? So there's three here, and this can be this one. So I'm thinking five. And then in this picture, these two could be like, you know, just this next to each other right here, right? But so... So seven. Wait, no, f five. So this one could be this one, you know? So let's say six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do seven just to teach you guys a lesson. Man, you're wrong. I told you. So. <laughs> six. So we got the three here. Let's take this as a base. And then. These guys, so this could be this here. So one, two, three. Could be the same guy, you know? So four, five. And then it could also be. This one's totally one of the birds. But it could also be this one. You know? Who knows? At least one. Yeah, there's at least one bird in the picture. Fucking kill me, dude. It's awful. So one, two, three. Then these is these could be the same. So you cross that up. Cross this one up. Goodbye left left of this one. I'm gonna kill you, I guess. Do it. No balls. Um, okay. Gone. Then it could still be like So I'm gonna say four or five here. For these guys are like most likely to be their own bird because there's no other bird that are surrounded so okay so it could also be this one this one could be also this one I'm gonna go with six you know fuck it I was gonna go with six it seems like a high enough number it's not crazy Shice. <laughs> I mean, because I saw you guys were saying six, two, and I was like, that makes sense. But I'm going to do my own answer, okay? I'm not looking at chat. I'm going to find my own answer, okay? So there's three here. And these two could just be a, a, like a, an extension. So let's say five so far, okay? And then... But this one can be the same. So we're just going to say five so far. And these two can be right next to this one. So we're going to say... Say eight. I'm saying eight. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> oh, what is it? Give me a hint. Also, thank you so much, Maroon. That was very funny. Really well timed. Much love. When the images are super superimposed correctly, there's a bluebird at each end of the line. Why would I even know that? Like, why would you assume that?
Like, why I hate this game for this reason. They do that, like, almost every puzzle. Just, like, some info they throw in. There's only two of them. And? What makes you think they could just be next to each other? They could literally... What makes you... There's no rule saying that they're not the same bird or that they're two different birds. There's nothing saying that. There's no rule explicit, explicably saying, explicitly saying, like, these aren't the same bird or they are. Yet, they always make this stupid narrative in their mind written down that they never share and you have to somehow guess. Care, 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 Neko, why don't you just tell me a number and we'll do it. Why don't you tell me a number? It's about the crows. Tell me the crows then. If it's not that outrageous, tell me. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Let's go with four, huh? How much money are we gonna cause the taxpayers, man? Come on, just give us a break. Ah! <laughs> I'm going with two. Fuck it. It's just, there's three in one picture. <laughs> hey, give us some hints. What? Yes, give me some more. Oh, they don't, they won't tell me? Should be arrested for tax fraud. Why do I cost so much? Yeah, we go. I don't think we went to five though. Wait, Not let, the easiest puzzle I've ever seen. Did I quit back? But I need to. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that fucking sucks, man. I pressed a button by accident. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. 